All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Now to get a start of the Ladies veteran voice of the Octagon. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 19 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Drake has still not to And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, the Apex. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is not good Ready. Ready to fight. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I wanna see how this plays out. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh, huge Superman punch. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Just misses with that one. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, lands. 
lands an uppercut to the head now, DC. Usually when you're the shorter fighter, you can land those types of shots. Look back to Mike Tyson in his final. He landed those over and over again to put guys to sleep. Big balls to punch land. Now he gets back to range. Blocks the shot. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Both fighters throwing heat now. And they separate. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. Tom, stop, stop. Single collar tie now. What a punch. The left punch is true. Now the right hand. is true. Good punch. Oh, yes, it is a lost start in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Able to check the high kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Great punch. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, you see. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Good punch, Lance. Oh, good head movement there. Nice flip. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. And he landed the right hand there. Well, his opponent found an opening there to the body. Nice hook shot there. But as he leans forward in trying to get into his own striking range, he's going to pay the price there to the body. Got to be careful. You don't want to eat too many of those power hooks downstairs. All right, single collar tie now. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Throws the right hand there. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee in again. Big kick lands. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Nice, sneaky head kick. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder round. Oh! What an end to round one! All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Tie. 
Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking... Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, blocks the shot. Straight punch lands. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Spinning back fist. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nice head kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. And now he's got the tie clinch. And they separate. Nice strike. Oh, man, that cut not in a good place. And it's not getting any better. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Circling towards the left now. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse, you gotta put cat and mouse. Hit, don't get hit, he does a great job of that. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai punch. Slips the punch. Then both guys really throwing with authority. That is how you scramble, folks. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel oh. Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally, I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Punch coming and blocked. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, knee to the head. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Takedown defense holds up. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle.
All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the feet. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sit set. Oh, huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt. Oh, oh he might be out. So far, a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Blocks that strike. knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Well, oh! he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, my goodness! Oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Oh! 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 Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that. Oh! oh! Allows him to get right back up. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but did not react quick enough to secure top position. All right, so just like that, back to a standing position. We will see who has the advantage. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut. Wow! He's out! He's done, he's done! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 1 minute, 55 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Apex. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.